G'day, Jeff Lewis here from Seriously Series and welcome to a Edge of the Earth special. Uh, we're going to be exploring Damon and my stomping ground here in southern Tasmania and this is all 100% off the cuff. So we're going to be taking a very different Land Rover vehicle down a very interesting trail or two and we're just going to see what we find along the way. So if this sounds like an adventure that's of interest to you then you know exactly what to do. Click on that subscribe button down below, click on that notification button too but most importantly stay tuned. So behind me here you can see these big thick trees, they're what we call mountain ash trees here in Tasmania and they are the tallest flowering tree in the world and there is actually a tree named then Centurion which is not far from here and that stands as I last read at 96.7 metres, could have changed, could be wrong but it's around that ballpark. So it really goes to show that We've got some pretty amazing things here in Tasmania. So for this adventure we're travelling in a bit of luxury and many of you have probably already guessed the vehicle that we're travelling in. Yes, it is a Land Rover Discovery or Disco One as some people like to call them. And this is Damon's pride and joy or one of his many pride and joys. And it's just a nice change for us to be in coil sprung vehicles. Uh, this one is an automatic too so you've only got four gears so it's not that unusual to a series Land Rover but anyway we'll keep traveling on and we'll see what we find later on down the track Now here we've got a rather unusual formation and uh, this one is partly man-made, it's not geological at all. What's caused this is actually the unusually high rainfall that Tasmania particularly has experienced over the last 12 months and also due to the fact that this structure here really wasn't built to withstand such a vast amount of water coming down the small creek near here. What's happened is we've got a little sinkhole here and it's obviously the water's found a way in through the construction of this bridge which has soil on top and it's virtually just pulled here in a small little, I guess, weak part of the structure and it's actually flowed straight through the bridge. That's how much water's actually been coming down this creek. So it's absolutely fascinating to, to actually see this happen and I guess it, makes one thing clear you need to keep your eyes on the road don't you 
because uh, you wouldn't want to end up in there. So, one of the other amazing things about this part of the world, Tasmania, is its location. Being situated in the Southern Hemisphere and not really that far from Antarctica or the South Pole, it means there's a lot of unique ecosystems here to be had. Obviously, as you can see here, we're in a rainforest, but this isn't a tropical rainforest, it is a temperate rainforest, so it's in a cool climate. Now this is an example of one of only a few that actually exist in this part of the world. Many of the species that actually exist here, or plants such as these conifers here, date back to a much earlier time, back to the Jurassic. And obviously we've got species of trees here and many, many other plants that date back to Gondwana, which was the large supercontinent that Tasmania and Australia was actually joined a part of. And obviously once that split, the remnants of these, you could say, living fossils, live on here today in the rainforests of Tasmania. This marks the end of the trip, but not the end of the adventure here at Seriously Series. Thanks for coming along with us here today, and thank you very much to our supporters, Toyo Tires and Grab Me Gear. And a special thank you to our supporters via Patreon and PayPal, who have made this adventure and many others possible. Anyway, if you are enjoying the content here at Seriously Series, please do consider clicking on that subscribe button down below and that notification button too. And I hope to see you in our next adventure. Catch you then.